I agree. Russia now issuing a new warning to the United States after its deputy foreign minister said it would send an array of, quote, unpleasant signals to the U.S. in the coming days. The comments come ahead of President Biden's planned summit with Vladimir Putin in Geneva next month. And Amy Kellogg is following the story from Italy. Hi, Amy. What can you tell us? Hi, Alicia. Well, we didn't hear much about what those surprises would be, but one Russia analyst told me that even the venue of Geneva sounds really Cold War. It was where Reagan and Gorbachev met. It is the most neutral of neutral environments, and frankly, it's where adversaries meet. So that's what this summit feels like. And though the Cold War is technically over, the continuous expansion and activity of NATO, uh, the fact that NATO still exists, frankly, has been a thorn in Russia's side for 20 years. And that apparently is what is provoking Russia to announce today that it will be adding 20 new military units to its western border by year, by year end. Now, uh, the NATO secretary general continues to appeal for dialogue. Uh, weeks ago, uh, uh, or a couple of months ago, uh, the new START agreement was uh, extended, uh, which is very important for all NATO allies. Uh, but we will continue to try to, uh, uh, to convene the NATO-Russia Council. And uh, we are ready to sit down with Russia because we think it's important to talk, uh, especially when times are difficult as they are now. Things are difficult, but let's not forget that President Biden has said he thinks that President Putin is a killer, and he does not plan to go easy on him at this upcoming summit on a whole number of issues, including democratic values. I'll be meeting with President Putin in a couple of weeks in Geneva, making it clear that we will not, we will not stand by and let him abuse those rights. Top of that human rights list may well be another push for the release of Russia's most famous opposition leader, Alexei Navalny, languishing in a penal colony. Now, that Russian analyst I referenced earlier, Lisa, did say that the time may be over for pressing about human rights, pushing the issue. It may really be imperative to point out what the consequences for Russia will be if it continues to go down this path. And that may very well be what the Biden team is thinking about right now. Alicia. You are probably right. Amy Kellogg, thank you. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.